Hey, this is Melissa from Baseline.com. Today we'll talk about interrogatives. What, where, how, when, and more. Presented by Baseline.com. Unlimited Spanish tutoring for 100 bucks a month. These are core questions and they are used all the time. Let's start with what. Can. We use what when we're asking about general information, about people, about objects, etc. For example, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What did he say? ¿Qué dijo él? What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Now, let's see which. ¿Cuál? Or, ¿cuál es? If it's in plural. We use cuál when there is a kind of list of imaginary or real objects to choose from. So in English, we will typically ask, what's your name? Which translate, ¿qué es su nombre? But in Spanish, we never say, ¿qué es su nombre? We say, ¿cuál es su nombre? Because it's like there is an imaginary list of potential names that that person can have. I'm going to give you another example, but with real objects. For example, you are in a parking lot. There are a lot of cars and a person asks you, which one is your car? So, ¿cuál es su carro? Or you are in a place where there are a lot of coats. So a person asks you, which is your coat? ¿Cuál es su abrigo? And we use cuál because actually there are several objects to choose from. Now, how? Como. We use como when we're asking about uh, more detailed information. For example, how is the weather? Como es el clima? How are you? Como estás? When. Cuando. We use when when we're asking about a point in time or a date. For example, when is your birthday? Cuando es su cumpleaños? When is the Independence Day? Cuando es el día de la independencia? Where? This is used exactly as it is as we use it in English. For example, where is your mom? Donde está tu mamá? Where are my shoes? Donde están mis zapatos? Who? Again, very easy, exactly as it's used in English. Who's at the door? Quien está en la puerta? Who is that? ¿Quién es, ese? ¿Quién es ese? Why? ¿Por qué? If you're asking about an explanation, we say ¿Por qué? Notice that these words are separated and the accent is in the last word. But if you want to answer to this question, we say because in English and in Spanish we say ¿Por qué? It's very similar in the pronunciation. The difference is that the first one Por qué, I mean the question, as I told you, is separated, but the second one is all together and the accent is in the O. For example, Por qué estás triste? Why are you sad? And you can answer to that saying something like, Because I just broke up with my boyfriend. Por qué acabo de terminar con mi novio? Who's? De quién, in singular, de quiénes, in plural. This is to express possession, to express that something belongs to someone. For example, whose TV is that? De quién es ese televisor? Whose jacket is that? De quién es esa chaqueta? Interrogatives in Spanish are very easy. Now we're going to practice. I'm going to tell you a couple of sentences in English and then you're going to translate them into Spanish. Let's start. Who is the President of the United States? ¿Quién es el Presidente de los Estados Unidos? What's your favorite fruit? ¿Cuál es su fruta favorita? You might be wondering, what do I have to use cuál instead of Que, and que means what in Spanish. Because cual, because in this case we have like an imaginary list of fruits, so we choose just one. That's why we use cual. Where is the store? 
donde está la tienda. Whose shirt is that? ¿De quién es esa camisa? Now, if you want to practice this topic a little bit more, and maybe with a real person or one of our Baseline teachers, just share this video publicly on Facebook, and then tag the Baseline Facebook page in your post. And then it's very easy because we're going to give you a 30-minute free class. Bye-bye.